Hi guys, what's up? This is Prashun here with yet another basic tutorial on Java. Now we all know about the main method in Java. It is the method where all the execution starts. We all know about its access specifier that is public, its return type that is void and its property of being static. But do you guys know the actual reason why is it public, why static and why it has no return type and declared as void? Don't worry. In the next few minutes, you will become aware of all these facts. Now let's go through a very small concept related to Java compiler and Java interpreter. When you write your code and save it with a .java extension, the compiler takes this .java file and compiles it into a .class file. The interpreter comes into action when the program is run. The interpreter takes this .class file and reads it, understands it, so that it knows what to do further. Now in Java, the functionality or working is in such a way that the main method has to be called first. Hence the Java interpreter will call the main method before any objects of the class are made and this is the reason the main method has a keyword static since static methods can be invoked without the need for creating an object of a class. The main method is also accessed by a piece of code which is outside the class in which it is declared. Hence, to have access to the main method, it has to be given the access specifier public since public classes can be accessed from outside the class as well. The keyword void simply tells the compiler that the main method does not return a value and neither does the interpreter expect one. Now Java is case sensitive, hence main with an uppercase M is different from main with a lowercase m. The compiler will compile all the classes without the main method, but the interpreter has strict instructions to run these classes only when the main method with a lowercase m is there. Now every method may or may not contain parameters enclosed within its parenthesis. In main method, there is only one parameter that is string args. String args is actually a parameter named args which is an array of instances of the class string. Hence, any command line arguments that you enter are received by args when the program is executed. Imagine if Java programmers had included int parameters in the main method and in command line arguments, a person enters a string, then it would throw an error. Hence, by including string args, the command line args can include integer, string, characters, objects, etc. and become error free. So guys, I hope we now have a clear understanding on why the main method is public, static, void with parameters string args. If this video helped you, please like it, share it and subscribe to the channel for more such videos to come. Also, leave me some comments if you still have doubts at your end. Thank you.